All right. I don't know if this camera thing works, but. <clears throat> Not that many days left on Unreal Tournament. Day seven on Golden Ticket. Day seven. That is some crazy. Mm. Crazy. Hey, Captain Post, how's it going? Hey, one of me. Thank you. The same to you. Welcome back. So I, I finished drawing that one yesterday. I kind of like it. I think it'll work. Today I will try to draw more on this one to get that one done. Um, but what what I think I might revert to a golden ticket on Fridays only. Uh, so it's golden ticket Friday, and then uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is uh, random. I think maybe I think that's a little bit more interesting. Um, but uh, hey, Captain Bosa, fine, thanks. I'm fine. I hope everything is fine with you and your baby and your missus, obviously. Hey Lure, welcome back. Glad to see you returning a second day in a row. Nereida, how are you doing? Um, before I start, <laughs> I can hear my daughter. Uh, she's not, she's annoyed. Uh, anyways, um, it's too hot. No, you should. If you have time, you should. So, Firestarter um, announced their new cover art. Um, and people who's in the magazine and also they announced you can win a THU ticket um, Captain Boss yeah yeah of course but yeah so some cool stuff announced on Firestarter uh, go and have a look The radar, that's sweet. That's great. Hey, and with graphics, how's it going? So, just to recap, I've kind of finished the line art for this one. As finished it, it will be for the time being. I added a little bit of elements of uh, nature in there. I think I'm missing a little bit of more narrative and so on. But I think if I would, if I would decide to push this one further, I would. I would uh, really reconsider what's in the scene, you know. Or yesterday I was just adding things like a rake. That's great, Nereida. The tickets are very pricey. Uh, for me, it's a little bit strange um, that they are that pricey when you consider um when we, when you consider that um a lot of it is uh, for students hey iglesias miguel how's it going uh, miguel has a hard time with my my stories of 
my my um my dream my dream states <laughs> Nereida, yeah, I think that's the downside. Um, I think that's the downside of having it at a place like Malta, even though Malta is absolutely amazing. Um, the total price uh, is quite high in terms of um, what you have to pay. And if you're a student, uh, I mean, obviously you can... Um, Uh, save up right but that's that's one and a half thousand euros I mean as a student uh, how much of, of of that money can you actually save up in a year unless you have uh, like kind mother father <laughs> who who supports you or, or sponsors of sorts Miguel, it's all good, man. Hey, Buddha Breakfast, how's it going? What up? Uh, if it's some catering on THU, there is food on THU, but you have to pay for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Buddha Breakfast, you got your number 11. Soon. A glorious and magnificent and legendary 12. <laughs> I would have breakfast. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that, that, I think that's the problem with, with THU. That the you know even though it's a, the big show you know, um, some cool speakers and all that. Uh, I think that's the downside of um, of the idea is that it costs so much for students. I don't think it's fair in that sense for students, even though you know it's a great experience and all that and and you would say you should i would say you need to go to uh, THU at least once um because of the the you know the big show and and, and how how it feels to be there um but price is high Miguel, <laughs> yeah, that's great. The pressure is on, right? Uh, for those who don't know, um, uh, the finale is on. Miguel is a part of the finale, and he was at IFCC for a week. <laughs> uh, he did a demo or a talk, uh, so he's behind. And he needs to uh, catch up. And everyone is ninja mode. No reveals whatsoever on the Discord or the forum. Nothing. Everyone is silent. Hey, Lawrence, how's it going? Welcome. I think you're new. I don't recognize your name. Lars VDM. Regardless, you're welcome. Everyone is welcome. <laughs> Miguel is behind time for sure. I think that's the um, that's the downsides of things like that. 
of uh, going to workshops is that you're behind on on your daily routine but that's with everything that's uh, like vacation or whatever but um, yeah back to uh, the topic of um, workshops um, is um, now that IFCC changed locations to uh, to split, uh, I would say um, IFCC is better to go to as a student um, than TSU. To be fair, it's uh, completely two different separate uh, experiences. Like IFCC is not a big show. It's very laid back. You do learn a lot. You know, there's a lot of good uh, speakers and, and because of the relaxed, um, relaxed experience, it's you know, it's very approachable and it's very smooth, you know, in that sense. Hey, Dr. Sheldon, you got your number nine. The magnificent, the powerful, beautiful deep dish with extra cheese, number nine. <laughs> Thank you for my, very much for the support, man. Run those warm up flags. Hey Morphia, how's it going? But yeah, so now that the IFCC moved to Split, Split being such a beautiful place, hot and, and tasty and everything that you would want and everything that you get from, let's say, you go to a location like Malta, which is very um, exotic. Uh, in that sense compared to let's say London uh, you know where London is is what it is you know it is its own entity but it's not uh, amazing like Malta is or um, Split is but uh, the cost is significantly less to go to Malta than um, uh, no the cost is significantly less to go to Split than go to Malta and I think it's a way more um, valuable as a student to go to IFCC, as IFCC is in, in more or less Central Europe. Hey, Cosmoverse, how's it going? Good morning. I'm all good, man. How are you? I'm currently um, kind of sketching out my golden ticket uh, sketches and um, I think this will be the I think I will go every Friday only to do a stream about uh, Golden Ticket uh, it might not be that interesting and I notice it I notice it every year that uh, when I stream Golden Ticket back to back the view count drops uh, I don't think it's that interesting to see uh, incremental progress uh, for half an hour every day compared to a new drawing every day. Um, so I will go back to uh, random topics tomorrow. Uh, uh, on, a, on Friday I will do um, golden tickets updates where I will be doing, working on these. And I will be trying to work on these on my spare time, but we don't, I don't know how much time I will have. But yeah, so we'll, we'll go back to normal. Um, tomorrow. I think that's fair. Uh, Captain Bose, no. Um, I think Split is uh, IFCC's new home. 
because uh, Kino Eu Europa in Zagreb is uh, being renovated, so there's no access to the old uh, IFCC place. So that's why he had to move the workshop. And I guess he thought, why move the workshop to a lesser place in Zagreb uh, when Split is close by, I guess. So he, um, he moved the workshop to, to Split. And uh, I think that's the idea where he wants the next one to be as well. Um, I don't think he will change cities one, one more time. I think he wants to do more in Split. Because he said, oh, I don't know if this will be the the last workshop, depending on what everyone thinks and how it will go and so on. But everyone loved it. Um, everyone uh, um, you know, praised praised the, the workshop. Uh, and and Marco, the organizer, already posted like uh, research for the next one photos. So uh, it looks like there will be one one more split. Miguel, yeah, absolutely. I think that's the beauty of IFCC is that everyone is. Uh, everyone are, is so approachable and you can just kind of hang with people there is not this this um i call it the uh, rock star treatment uh, a lot of workshops they treat the instructors like they are uh, rock stars you know with a vip section and and they don't really mingle with the um with the people uh, attending the workshop they are excluded, you know, for some weird reason. Like, don't talk to the, <laughs> don't talk to the peasant type uh, mentality, right? Where, um, I think that's where where IFCC and industry workshops uh, had it great. Uh, even though I have, uh, industry workshops is a lot more hardcore and technical there is still that small separation a little bit it's not as relaxed as ifcc where ifcc is less organized and uh, less hardcore than um, industry workshops or uh, thu but what works so well for ifcc is like miguel said this relaxed atmosphere everyone just hangs around there's no you, you almost don't know who is a speaker, you know. Um, it, it's just everything is so approachable and I think that's ideal for students. And because when it's so relaxed and everyone hangs out, it creates these bonds, these, these networking bonds, these uh, memories of, of um, memorable connections between people you know, which is which is really um, which is really important and um, those are the things that matter in the long run you know human connection and five years down the line th that's what people will remember not uh, who spoke at uh, 2019 uh, workshop you know in a, in big picture wise, they won't remember, but they will remember the beautiful atmosphere or the hang or when they met person X or you know. And it's cheap comparatively. Cosmoverse. Um, last year's was trolls. No, it was. Um, it was like a magical creatures or, or something like that. Land of land of mystery or, or magical lands or something in the lines of that. Um, and I decided in that to, to kind of, yeah. But this time I round for the golden ticket, it's um, 
like vision of the future type thing like for your inner child uh, what would your inner child uh, do 50 years from now or you know uh, like it's a little bit more dystopian but with a uh, uh, with hope in mind you know like oh the world is in a bad state but we are fixing the world um, even though uh, you know we have progress and the world is becoming better if you would live then what would your you know like inner child do or, or you know something like that so I'm, I'm playing around with the idea of of, uh, of that combining the ideas uh, I have talked about the ideas but these are the three final ones which is a young inventor that creates uh, uh, I call them Benzbots where they are seed of, of life inside of them like um, uh, a little gr growing plant and uh, one singular tree in the distance and uh, the, the young inventor is uh, collecting things of, of that was good in the past, you know, like a, a rake for the garden, uh, a buoy for the boats in the sea. Um, I, I will do all sorts of things there, right? And this one is um, a kid reading a book to a singular tree, a sick tree, and imaginary uh, creatures around it. Uh, and this one is the moon is broken, but they have made the moon into a farm. So it's going to be a green moon and there's a ragtag bunch of kids which currently are not designed at all um, kind of celebrating the launch of um, spaceships going to the moon to get food or whatever you know whatever is whatever they're getting from the moon Hey Tormund, how's it going? The Mind Waker, what up? Weeping J. Like sharing dreams. <laughs> Miguel, yeah, sure. Amir, yeah, I will I will incorporate Mercedes logo in all drawings. So here's obviously the window. On this one, I think it'll I'll make it like an emblem on the machinery or something. Um and uh, on this one there will be like a um, a disc holding the moon together uh, and the moon being um, or the disc holding the moon together is uh, in roundabout ways the um, uh, Mercedes logo because Mercedes are the sponsors or the main sponsors of the of the competition so I'm gonna try to <laughs> sneak it in on the sneak so on, on, on this one and that I'm drawing on now the idea which is not really communicated that well is that all these kind of vertical structures will be um, algae farms so it will be lots of green and 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 uh, white machinery so all these kind of slits they will have um, a green light in them and you, we can see algae farms like bubbling and and, and creating life and the kids are um, the Goonies type uh, gang um, but as I said uh, I haven't explored their visuals yet uh, but they will be explored uh, but what, what, what I will do first is I will draw all three uh, all three ideas I will draw first 
uh, I think to this state on all of them because it informs enough of what's uh, what's good without like overextending and, and drawing out every little every little thing you know uh, but uh, I'll draw them all up and then I'll decide uh, we can decide actually together uh, which one people like the most and then um, um, and then I'll I'll, uh, I'll uh, I will draw it or or work on it more but um, yeah I think overall the ideas are pretty good I don't mind the ideas at all and in terms of um, narrative story elements and, and, and look and feel I think all of them can be quite fascinating to to realize I think the, the biggest problem I will have is um, picking which one I think is the best hey Yigdal, welcome back in with graphics yeah I think three could come out really epic I, I agree um, I think it what what lends a lot of strengths to this one is um, the triangular composition is a very clean composition. Uh, another thing that I think lends to its strengths is the ability to create layers. Um, oh, and they should hold hands. Uh, create layers not only in depth but with the green algae um, lines in these white structures and uh, yeah the focal point I think can be really cool uh, you know we can have the Milky Way we can have the moon and uh, like Zeolin said the a green moon uh, hasn't really been seen before you know well one of the reasons is because there's no atmosphere on the moon right there is it, you can't have um, a green moon in reality but because because Mercedes-Benz have made it with artificial gravity um, we now can. And I think um, some, some make believe doesn't hurt either. Everything doesn't need to be realistic, right? We, I think it's fine to have uh, these un implausible things for the sake of the image rather than everything has to be perfectly explained. Yeah, exactly, um, Zeolin. Uh, because the moon broken, it will have a line across. Um, now the question I have: Should the should it be on that line? Would that make the image better? You know. It's pretty cool that way too. I think potentially this is even stronger than before. Because now everything is in a line. 
It reminds me of Elysium. Yeah. It would create a tangent. Yeah, the rocket doesn't have a good place. Yeah, I agree. But maybe that's... That's... I mean, the rockets can all, always be changed, you know? But at least now I can... Swap. Um, you have a lot of elements uh, pointing towards the moon. Okay, try. Less vertical. So you mean something more like that? Like that. I mean, true. Could be something like that. Could work too. And of course, then I would need to change the. Hey, Kirill, how's it going? And then we, I have to change the rocket. But that's a small thing to having to change. Because one thing I have an issue with here is that it it breaks the the flow of the image. This enhances the flow of the image. Reading from left to right. It's also nice. But it This has a nice off-centered appeal. It's a bit hard to know which which is best. I'm not sure really yet. But at least I'm going to have two options and then uh, I'll decide. Um in this graphics, which version the horizontal or vertical? And a part of me want to try to you know get it I, I, well, not the part of me, but I, I do really want to get it just right, you know, before moving forward. So I'm going to have to um, vertical with a slant. I think so too. I think it might be, that might be the, the direction to go because it, it just has that more power. It just makes this perfect triangle, right? I think I might as well go with that. Lurib also likes the vertical. I like the vertical too, you know. It leaves more more space for um, compositional elements to flow correctly. Yeah, I think so too.
and I had this idea that these uh, these kind of holes up in the farms they are repeated um, so it's like a um, what's it called um, these geometrical structures uh, so if you imagine spheres connected to each other and where they intersect the spheres there's a hole and you can see into the next farm in there you know so it's a I wouldn't say never-ending but because it because it's um, spherical and intersecting you can uh, they, they support each other you know so you can have all sorts of structures or indefinite amount of structures Yeah, I think that foreshortening definitely needs to be stronger. Uh, that's no 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 problem at all to do. But all in all, I think it I think it works. I think it reads. I'm happy with um, the the change to a vertical moon. Um, I'm happy with the general overall rhythm um, for the time being. Obviously, it it will be stronger and and um, tweaked. Actually, I can do this to help pinpoint the focal point story-wise. I think it, it would work I think it'll make things read really well and I think with um, with more work in in terms of the the lighting and the focal point and with layers and all these things I think it has tons of potential and it and it is fundamentally um, a positive image you know like them celebrating the um, triumph of, of man you know even though th the moon has been a disaster they probably need protective gear um, they are still kind of celebrating the The fighting spirit of the of humans. Uh, one of them, one of those indicators being that uh, they have a flag, right? Uh, it, this image is one of my favorites, but I think all three can potentially be good. But I think it works. I think it works really well. Zealin, one clockwise and one counterclockwise. Um, you mean like that they they are separate uh, angles? True, 
I mean, I could change that easily. I mean, I will tweak that for sure. And I do agree, but they can't, you know, generally they can't go straight to the moon. They need a um, angle. So it's kind of regardless of the angle. They just can't go straight to the moon. They have to use a, a rotational force. top right corner I mean I mean that's true I mean nothing says that I can't have uh, rockets flying like this as well <laughs> will make the composition very busy but I mean it could you know could even have bigger For shortening but yeah it'll solve itself could have a large ship in the background time is up Amir indeed could have a large ship, but in that it could also remove from the message, the story, the narrative. So that's something I want to be a little bit careful of, of adding, just for the sake of adding, you know. At this point, you really got to consider, consider each element that you're adding, but nothing says. Lurib, true. I mean, it it would be cool to have, but um, just be careful of uh, smashing too many things into the same image. You know, you're going to reduce the impact of of what's there by uh, adding too many story elements. I mean, nothing says that I can't add them in the background as uh, layers, but for the time being. I'm gonna with 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 help withhold that fact. But looking at the images, both are pretty strong. Both have their own story, which is good, which makes my heart life harder. <laughs> but nevertheless, makes it f fun. Lurib, less is more. I mean, I, I definitely think I need structures in the background to overlay the smoke with, uh, have some sort of depth there. Uh, so that will definitely happen. Because it, it just can't be a rim like that, but yeah. Uh, in with graphics, yeah, the f moon will fade with atmospherics for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's the stream. And I don't think, I mean, what do you think? Hey, Cosmoverse, that number seven, the powerful number seven. Gee. Oh, yeah. uh, so, what do you think? Golden challenge tomorrow or random drawing from me? Morphia, that's great. Th then, uh, Tick that that box of in, in having an inviting image even at the sketch stage. All right, seems like we're going for golden ticket. Anyways, let's uh, let's um, let's find a suitable raid victim. <laughs> wow. Uh, no, thank you. Um, 
it looks like we uh, we're deep diving into art. <laughs> laser gang bag, bag bag, yeah man. <laughs> you arrive and let's raid. So this one I saw on my list, and I was like, nope. <laughs> Just tits and ass everywhere. What is this? Oh, it's miniature. All right, no. Who's doing something interesting? There's me. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Um, art. What are you? What are you? <laughs> hmm. Come on. Come on. High hopes. High hopes. You can do it. Don't give up. Come on. Come on, that looks pretty cool. But it's all Korean. And the shitty camera. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit promising. But also Korean and sleeping. Mercy? D do you mean was there mer uh, from Overwatch? Twitch creatives is. Uh, Mm. It is what it is, right? Uh, and, all right, we are raiding Team Rammers. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Have a great day, everyone. Good night if you're in that part of the world. Have a fantastic day. See you tomorrow morning. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining. Thanks for those sub subs. Very uh, super appreciated. Uh, let's do the outro, and after the outro, let's go to Tim Remmers. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.